Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the Scorpio reading for the week. Let's see what you're up to, Scorpio. I'm going to use the Modern Spellcasters Tarot for your reading. Um, if you need to know anything about me or you would like to have a personal reading with me, all of the instructions are underneath the video. Uh, I am doing a live mini read this Sunday on Facebook at... 10 p.m. I think it is Australian Daylight Savings Time. Um, I think that's everything. Oh no, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, do remember the readings are only general. This may not be your reading. It's up to you to recognise that and use your intuition. Okay. The nine of pentacles coming through now the nine of pentacles is a card that talks about feeling really you know in your own skin feeling good in your own skin feeling very independent having enough financial support being able to support yourself wholly and completely and doing things by yourself there's a fierce independence sometimes when this card comes through like that whole feeling of i don't need anybody i can do this myself very very strong here today Whoever this person is, they could have recently sort of left something behind. They could have moved into uh, a single time. And they may be, you know, at a point now where they've walked away from something, but feeling really, really good about making a decision to be single. All right, so we have the magician coming through. That's very nice. So whoever this is that we're talking about here the universe is saying to you you don't have to worry you have everything you need to be successful um this is having all the tools at your fingertips you know your money your resources everything here is is here for you um so you sort of don't have to worry it's about just making your way forward and just understanding the universe has your back all right this somebody coming in here that's coming up as a knight of wands now sometimes they get a flippant energy with this card other times i get sort of patience and determination and that's what i'm getting here with this card this is about you moving forward with serious determination seriously focused on something wanting something being really determined to bring to pull something off here um and it sort of makes sense here with the other cards and there you go the empress card wow Okay, so some of you are really working your inner empress here. You've decided on something, you're determined to move forward, you know you have everything you need and you know you have the support of the universe and something here is driving you towards something. We'll have a sneak peek at the next card. Oh, okay, look at that. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Um, so there is a determination here. Uh, to walk towards someone now I guess it depends on which way you're looking at the cards too uh, this is emperor and empress twin flame energy all over this there is something you are determined now to have for yourself you've let go of perhaps doubt you've let go of fear you've let go of all the things that have been holding you back and you're going for it you know what you want you know what you want and you're going for it all right, let's have a look and see what's going on. Wow, okay. <laughs> this may be very physically, um, physically enticing for you. This can be, you know, a brand new start, but the passion here is off the charts. You're really, with that knight of wands, you're going after what you want here. Um, you've made a choice, you've made a decision, you've got your eye on the prize, you're focused on what you want to move towards. Um, I feel like you're taking a situation into your own hands. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so yes, you're ready to speak up. This King of Swords means that you are ready to move forward. 
You could be dealing with a Libra Gemini or Aquarius here, but I feel this is strongly your energy. This is about having a conversation with someone. This is about expressing your needs, um, telling someone how you're feeling, um, but you're determined now to do the work. You want to do it. And I feel like you're letting go of fear. You're letting go of the energy you left behind. Yeah, there's something from the past here. Definitely with that. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I'm probably feeling two different energies here. I feel that it's possible that you hurt someone in the past because you made the wrong choice here with this Three of Swords. Maybe somebody was um, had a very strong connection with you. You might have been married at the time. They might have been married. And it feels to me like you're sort of moving away from something. You're determined. You're obviously recently single and you're moving towards the object of your desire. For others of you here, it could be that this other person has done the same thing. So I'm definitely getting a complete flip-flop of energy here, a complete mirroring of each other's energy. That's very twin flame. Um, I feel very, very strongly that conversation needs to take place. You both feel extremely passionate over this connection. I don't think physically you've been together before. I think that perhaps you've crossed paths with this person and realised you've had a really strong att attraction. And now there's this feeling that you want to go back and physically act out what you didn't get the opportunity to do before. Very, very strong passion in this reading. But I don't feel that there's been a physical connection with this person in the past. All right, so we have here the Seven of Wands. Wow, the determination's just off the charts here. We now have the King of Wands coming up with the Four of Swords. You're plotting and planning here, putting a strategy together, putting something into place here. Maybe you're looking at, you know, how can you just bump into this person? How do you approach this person? You know, I'd say to you, if I'm talking to you and this is your reading, I'd throw caution to the wind. Your person feels exactly the same. They feel exactly the same way. They are ready to approach you. They are waiting for you to approach them. It doesn't matter here. Your energies are both off the charts. You both want the same thing. Very, very strong energy of this. Um, a very strong physical attraction here. Uh, I mean, for some of you, you may have been physical with this person in the past, but I don't get that at all. I really get this feeling that this person is um, craving you as much as you're craving them. There's a sheer determination. There's the Six of Cups. Yep, so it's definitely past. All righty. I already got that energy. Yep. Eight of Pentacles. So you both want to put work into this. Both of you are realising it has great potential. Beautiful. There is a very, very strong potential for a long-term relationship here. Very strong. There's also a, a very strong feeling of a, 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 a physical union. Um, desire for physical union. Um, and you're moving towards each other. There's a reminiscing, though, with this Six of Cups. So there must have been some connection of with the two of you in the past, either a connection around friendship, or perhaps this person was um, in your friendship group, married to someone else, um, or you were married to someone else. There's somebody definitely moving away from some sort of hurt or heartbreak here. So possibly when you came together and you felt this attraction, there was not not able to act on it because of this, uh, you know, because of someone else being in the picture here. But you are strategizing here. You're taking on this King of Wands energy um, and you're starting to realize that you need to take leadership here. You need to take ownership. You're really standing your ground. But you're also thinking, plotting, trying to work out how the best plate way to approach this is. And whoever this person is, I would feel very strongly that you've gone through the conversation of meeting up with this person many times in your head. There's very much this feeling that you've fantasized about this for a very long time. And I feel like for some of you, this could have been, you know, over a year here. Um, but there's a strong feeling that you are following now or determined now. Something's changed. Something snapped. Something within you went, hang on a moment, I can do this. I can do this. Look at me go. Nine of Pentacles, very independent energy knowing you have all the tools you need. This is passion, complete passion, drive, 
wanting something, physical energy, going after it as the Empress going after your Emperor. So somebody here or both of you walked away from a situation in the past because it was just not something you could act on then. But I feel that the energy here is one where you've both been thinking about each other, wondering when the time would come. You may not even have contact with this person. I'm looking at this energy here thinking it's possible you've had no contact here. Um, but you haven't stopped thinking about them. And either you know now, that's what I was going to say before, you know now they've become single or they've separated or you've become single and separated and you know here that you both are in a position to have a relationship. You may have been keeping a little check on them on the internet or you may know through friends that they've become single as well. The funny part is they've been plotting the same so whoever this person is, whoever this reading is for, your person has been mirroring you, plotting, thinking, wondering how they can make the approach here. And they're about to come towards you because you have the two of wands here. End of cycle, ten of swords. Oh my goodness, and the nine of cups. Someone's let go of something. Somebody's ready to make a move. And they're moving towards you quite rapidly here. Um, after closing out a cycle, you're their wish fulfillment. How beautiful is this reading? Wow, how very beautiful. All right, let's pull you an oracle card. Your dreams need a practical plan. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's what I said, you're strategizing. Full moon in Taurus. Okay, sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic, see the magician, and sometimes you need to be practical, and sometimes you need to find a combination of the two, strategy. This card suggests that where you are now, you need the laws of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it, and that's why I said you've been fantasizing. But you need to balance that with taking down to earth steps towards your goals. This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points. There you go, your shopping list about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes, depending on both your past actions and what you're experiencing and attracting. Wow, okay, this is really interesting. So it's talking about taking practical action, which is what the reading is all about. So I will leave you with that, folks. What a lovely reading. Have a great week.